one uh, we will call the August 19th 630 County Commission meeting to order uh, first what we'll do is we will have a prayer and pledge uh, tonight's prayer will be led by Pastor Mark Kitts uh, he's here with us tonight he is the pastor at Riverview Baptist Church in Claxton we will follow uh, with the pledge by Nathan Sweet uh, but before we do that um, I would ask that we all stand and give a, a moment of silence uh, some of you already know uh, that we lost our county law director unexpectedly um, we will be honoring him and his family next month uh, they could not attend tonight uh, but tonight let's uh, start out by with a moment of silence for him Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, thank you for this day that you have granted us. Lord, we ask that you certainly would continue to be with our nation, that you bless us each and every day. Lord, we pray tonight for this meeting. We pray for the commissioners, for the mayor, that God, that you grant not only a knowledge, but a wisdom in the choices and decisions that are made for the citizens of this county. Lord, please do not protect our military for those that are in harm's way, for our police officers. Lord, for those who are certainly uh, serving, we ask that you would keep them from harm. God, thank you for all the blessings of life and all that you do for us. And we ask this in your holy and precious name. Amen. Amen. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you all. Thank you, Dove. Um, we will now move on to the portion of the agenda, uh, Appearance of Citizens. This is an opportunity for anyone who would like to address the County Commission on items that are on or not on the agenda. You will have three minutes to address Commission. Um, when you come to the podium, please state your name and your address. Um, Commissioner Foster will give you a 30 second um, warning and then the three minutes will be a hard cutoff. Just want you guys know up front. Uh, but again, this is for anyone who wants to address the commission on items th uh, that may or may not be on the agenda. So I will go ahead and open the floor to anyone who would like to speak. Okay. My name is uh, Quinn Bender, 390 Herald Lane in Powell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, for allowing me to speak. Almost two years ago, my daughter and I talked to you about the Clinton High School softball facility. We talked about the lawsuit and how this affects the young women. We even contemplated a lawsuit that would probably have totaled millions of dollars to construct the facilities, but decided that that was not in the best interest of this community. And we hoped that Anderson County Schools would do the right thing. Now these young women are heading off to college, and what we've accomplished is we have a field that the high school team has played on one day, middle school has played on it four times. We have a hitting facility that's operational about two weeks left in the season of the high school season. What is still need to be completed in four months before the season starts and we need to be moving in at winter break because the season starts right after the first of the year. We need a concession stand, although this should be done by the beginning of January because it should be under contract soon. The locker room, weight room, and equipment storage, which has yet to be bid, the drawings have yet to be produced, yet, yet since January I told they, I've been told that they've been working on it. Uh, the lawsuit has yet to be settled, and we have many other small details. I've spent hundreds of thousands of hours tracking the pro progress of this project. I've almost been arrested to help, uh, to help the project, yet I feel that I've failed these young women. 
in this community. I could have done more. I ask that you help me complete the promise that I made to these young women in this program. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right. Is there anyone else who would like? You coming up, Nathan? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Nathan. My name is Nathan Mullins. I'm from Oak Ridge, Kingfisher Lane. First and foremost, why have I been crusading for two years? This burden was something I chose. But had I been wanting approval and appreciation, I wouldn't have chosen this route. I've never gotten official recognition, and I only took one reward from the public forum which was my bemusement of the grousing about a sophisticated presenter who had been sent from the big city by the GOP. No, my Christianity is a calling, not a costume I put on to impress you. Truly, my second motivation is that I care about the vulnerability of children. I am a child of divorce and most parents won't limit access to library media if it's falsely called book banning. So, when library radicals secretly agreed to move Ann Bacchus's gay adult level sex ed books onto elementary shelves, I said I'll die on that hill. Because sex awakens in the body long before the mind or soul is capable of handling it. Thirdly, let me be prophetic. I'll quote a police sergeant from Blade Runner 2. The world is built behind a wall that separates kind. Tell either side there's no wall, you've bought a war or a slaughter. I will prophesy to you that history will be repeated this week. Some of you are wizened enough to have heard of the mayhem of the Chicago Democratic Convention riots in 68, which caused backlash, recoil, and a desperate need for escape from their own radical base and extremist captors. This week will make those protests look quaint. When you wonder what you are feeling by next Friday, it should be called Stockholm Syndrome or trauma bonding, because you yourselves are captives. You are at least trapped in the prison of two ideas. It's less your choice than it is one made by your idea wardens, the DA and, a, and the few librarians he's protecting. So your Democrat party will fall this week. And behold, your loyalty to radical extremists I'm here to prophesy to you of the consequences of bowing the knee to the new gods of fake virtue and false empathy. Thank you for listening. Thank you. All right, is there anyone else who would like to address the county commission? All right, seeing none, we will move on. First, we will start uh, on the approval and correction of the agendas. First, we'll start with the consent agenda. We have, we have a motion by Commissioner Yeager uh, and seconded by <coughs> Commissioner Foster. I'm assuming approving as it is, sir. Yes, it is. All right, any discussion on the motion? All right, seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. The regular agenda. Is there, okay, Commissioner Palmer? Um, I would request to add the CB the CDBG grant for water and the UT Extension Office um, request to new business. To new business. Did you make a motion to approve or you just? We're just going to add it, then we'll make a motion as amended. We'll make a motion to this. Is there any other additions to the agenda? All right. Uh, Commissioner Foster, is that a motion to approve the 
Yes. The agenda as amended. Yes. And Commissioner Allen second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> All right, we're gonna move on to the courtesy resolutions and presentations. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the meeting, um, we will be honoring uh, Mr. Yeager tonight. Um, his family could not attend tonight's meeting, so that will be in the September meeting that we will be honoring him. Um, and we will also have a few things later in, the, in this meeting. Um, so what I'll do now, um, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm not gonna call Mr. Wells down, but I'm gonna go to the podium and read a resolution. here my friend <laughs> all right so tonight we're, what we're going to do is recognize uh, our commissioner and friend Aaron Wells um, for the work that he has done uh, resolution 24-08-1179 resolution honoring County Commissioner Aaron Wells whereas Aaron Wells has served with the distinction as a County Commissioner for Anderson County 6th District demonstrating unwavering dedication and commitment to the betterment of our community and whereas during his tenure, Commissioner Wells has been a tireless advocate for effective governance, transparency, inclusivity, consistently working to improve the quality of life for all residents of Anderson County. And whereas Commissioner Wells has played a pivotal role in advancing key initiatives, including advocating and securing funding for the Scarborough 85 project, uh, I'm not emotional, I promise. Uh, streamlining daily government operations through accountability and transparency, and always, and I'll use his term, seeking a win-win uh, solution for all districts which have, a, have had a profound and positive impact on our county. And whereas his leadership has fostered collaboration among various stakeholders, facilitated innovative solutions to complex challenges, and championed the needs of diverse constituencies, and whereas Commissioner Wells has demonstrated exemplary service by upholding the highest standards of integrity, accountability, and public service, earning the respect and admiration of his colleagues and constituents alike. And whereas Commissioner Wells' leadership and hard work resulted in him serving on various committees and boards, such as Chairman of Legislative and Intergovernmental Committees, and active roles on Anderson County's Audit, Budget, Human Resources Advisory, nominating, nonprofit, purchasing, resale of land, and uh, purchase at delinquent tax sales and rules committees. And whereas his contributions extend beyond his official duties, and he has also been actively involved in community organizations and efforts for decades, especially the Oak Ridge Boys and Girls Club, further exemplifying his commitment to the welfare and progress of Anderson County. And whereas, as he concludes his tenure, we acknowledge and celebrate the significant achievements and lasting legacy he has left on our county. Now, there, now therefore, be it resolved, meeting in regular session on Monday, August 19, 2024, that the Anderson County Board of Commissioners extends its deepest gratitude and appreciation to County Commissioner Aaron Wells for his exemplary service and dedication. His unwavering commitment and passion to serve others will continue to impact this body and our county for years to come. Be it further resolved that we, the Anderson County Board of Commissioners, proclaim Friday, August 30, 2024, as County Commissioner Aaron Wells Day in Anderson County in honor of his leadership and devotion to his community. Duly passed, resolved, and effective this 19th day of August, 2024. Thank you, sir. So when this, when this opportunity was given to me last year, um, I was a little reluctant at first, a little hesitant. But guys, it's been an honor to serve with y'all. The opportunity to learn and to grow. Um, I dare say you had not seen the last of me, whether it's back there 
whether it's one day she decides to move on to something bigger. I'm not making any promises, but I have really enjoyed this, and I have truly enjoyed being a public servant. But again, it, it's been truly my honor to work with each of you and, and not, always disagree, not always agree, but always as that quote that win-win, find a way to move forward together regardless of where we sit on an issue. So thank you all. Ebony, I'm hopeful and confident you do a great job. And uh, again, we'll see you all soon, but let's get this job done tonight. And I do lastly want to thank Mayor Terry Frank. She supported me when I first ran for school board in 2007. I was 23. Um, gave me $100, probably knowing nothing was going to come out of it, but she stuck by me. Um, here we are almost 20 years later. I am your faithful servant till the end of your days in, in county and any government business. Um, I always say there's not many people my wife will, will stand up and say when it comes to politics, including myself, that she's 100% supporter of. Um, Mayor Frank is the only one. So uh, please work with her, help her, and uh, I'll be right behind you as well. Thank you all. Thank you. to the nominating committee report. Um, we'll just go through these quickly. The animal advisory, uh, the animal uh, shelter uh, advisory committee had one opening. Um, the nominating committee met, nominated Ms. Joyce Clee uh, to fill that vacancy uh, and forwarded to full commission for its approval. Is there a motion to? All right, we have a motion by Commissioner Foster, seconded by Commissioner Bochamp, and I would say, Robert would get on to me if I didn't, uh, is there any other nominations from the floor? He reminds me all the time that you can nominate from the floor. All right, seeing none. Um, all in favor of Ms. Cleese, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries, thank you. Uh, nominating committee met, okay, Siri, I wasn't talking to you. Um, the uh, nominating committee met uh, the library board opening that came about by Ms. Jacobs' resignation. We had three who were nominated. Uh, Commissioner Isbell said it best, uh, which we had three openings uh, because we had three highly qualified people who wanted to serve. Uh, the nominating committee did meet and uh, Ms. Charlotte Johnson was the nominee coming from the, the committee. Uh, but again, I'll open up any other um, floor nominations. All right, seeing that we have a motion by Commissioner Anderson, seconded by Commissioner Foster. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor of Ms. Johnson signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? All right, motion carries. Lastly, we uh, selected the county commission committees and boards. Um, I sent out a updated revised list of the, the boards and committees. Uh, and I, in the email, just again, uh, please bear with us as we continue to dig through uh, old mo uh, motions, uh, old uh, minutes to determine who's, you know, chair and, and all of those things. But um, we do have all of the boards filled. Uh, and then in September, again, per the rules that you will select a new chair or you can keep you have whoever you have uh, and a vice chair. Uh, in the September month. So, uh, is there any discussion? We have a motion and a second by uh, Commissioner Foster, and second by Commissioner Allen. Any discussion on the committees and boards? All right, seeing none. All in favor, say by, uh, signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? All right, motion carries. Moving on, County Mayor. Mr. Chairman, I have no action items under the mayor's report. Pretty much everything was handled through budget or operations. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Do we have any questions for Mayor Frank? All right, seeing none. Uh, Robbie Holbrook, you're up. Thank you, Chairman Mays. Um, starting off with the cash and fund balance report, just a couple things to note this month. There, it's an audited for June, and we're still, the, the month of June is still open, so we haven't closed. So these fund balances will change, um, but 
we have rolled some funds, so they're close to being accurate, but they're not that accurate. And sometimes I don't even report fund balances till we have settled with audit until we closed and they've done their report. But um, just keep in mind that they aren't audited yet. So for the general fund restricted funds, 1.3 million. Committed funds are at 1.2 million. Assigned funds are 4.1 million. Unassigned fund balance, 12.9 million for a total fund balance of 19.7 million. Cash, 18 million, 744, 836. Fund 141, the general purpose school fund, uh, fund balance 13.8 million, cash 10.6 million, ending in July. Any questions on this report? Okay, sales tax really quickly um, for the month of June, 4.3 million for um, Anderson County as a whole. That's up 2.9% from last. June, the Anderson County portion that split between highway and um, the general fund is 567955 up 11% from last June. Any sales tax questions? Okay, ARPA projects. In your ARPA projects, I went ahead and put the one, um, and I probably shouldn't have, I probably should have put both, but there were three things um, passed in the budget committee this past meeting, the $425,000 EMS vehicles, sheriff vehicles for five seven five hundred seventy two thousand, and uh, archive security cameras, 16280 that haven't been approved by this committee yet, so they're not really final. But if that is approved, leaving 286300 Before that meeting, we had $1.2 million, $1.3 million almost. So um, just wanted to clarify that. Any questions on this report? Okay. And the last thing is the grants report. This is new for 24-25. We took some grants off and um, added a couple of tourism grants at the end. Um, this is what we have so far. This list will change throughout the year as we add grants, but um, it's an updated list for 24-25. Any questions on that? Commissioner Foster. Uh, on the Gibbs Ferry uh, grant that we have finally got, do we have any update on it, where we're at in that process? It's a, um, we just recently, a, a few, uh, I don't know, maybe about eight weeks ago, got approval for, um, it has to be assigned, go through a process with the state of Tennessee and get a PIN number and all of those things. So we will be entering into the, um, architectural phase of that project all right any other questions about the grants all right Robbie okay moving on to the budget amendments um, group two appropriations from the school department there were three of them two three and four. hey Robbie real quick I'm sorry to interrupt you but what about the group one register of deeds that's the transfer and that after a budget committee it doesn't have to be approved here okay Usually we have several transfers, but since it was the first. Got you. Thank you. Anyway, group two appropriations. There are three from the school department seeking approval as a group. All right. We have a motion by Commissioner Beauchamp and seconded by Commissioner Allen. Any discussion on the motion? All right. Seeing none, go to the board and vote, please. Fifteen yes. Motion passes. Okay, thank you. Group four appropriations from non-school non appropriations, the general fund and other funds. There are 11 of those. Three of those are from the ARPA funds I just mentioned. All right. This, we have a motion by Commissioner Allen and seconded by Commissioner Beauchamp. Is that as a group? Yes. Okay. Uh, any discussion on the motion? All right. Seeing none, please go to the board and vote. Fifteen yes, and motion passes. All right, thank you. Group five appropriations that affect the unassigned fund balance. There are four of those: um, eight, ten, sixteen, and twenty. Okay, Doug. We've got a motion by Commissioner Allen and as seconded group. as a group, uh, and seconded by Commissioner Varen. Any discussion on the motion? All right. Seeing none, please go to the board and vote. Fifteen yes, zero no. Motion passes. Right, thank you. And the last one I have is a transfer from the um, sheriff's department. 
for fifty nine thousand six thirty eight. Thanks, All Pamela. right. We have a motion by Commissioner Beauchamp and seconded by Commissioner Foster. Is there any discussion on the motion? All right. Seeing none, go to the board and vote, please. <clears throat> Fifteen yes, zero no. Motion passes. All right. Miscellaneous section A. This didn't require a motion, but I do want to inform County Commission that we received state approval for our fiscal year 24-25 budget. Just, they always send this back to us in the mayor, me and the mayor, and we are asked to inform County Commission. So that's what I put, that's the reason I put it on the budget agenda. Section B, EMS performance raises and capital outlay. There was a motion, that motion passed $45,000 for EMS uh, performance raises. I'm just gonna take these separate. So the first motion will be $45,000 for the EMS performance raises. That was approved in the budget. You want, you want to take these separate, or I don't have to. And the um, um, capital outlay for the for EMS was um, four hundred twenty-five thousand two um, remounts of ambulances and one transit-style ambulance. And the sheriff's department was five hundred seventy-two thousand was for five new Tahoes and six Ford Explorers that were two hundred two thousand twenty-twos. That was um, section B. Um, no. Yes. Um, and then do you want to go over G? I'm going to N H of the section seven. Do I need a motion on that? Do you think first for the, uh, especially for the performance raises? Since okay. All right. We have a motion by Commissioner Beauchamp, second by Commissioner Allen, and that's under group seven A through D. Is that correct, Robbie? It can. A through C. A through C. Yes. Not the part time. Not Sorry. The mayor's All right, so the motion is A through C. Any discussion on the motion? All right, seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Well, I actually go to the board and vote. That is my fault. My apologies. <coughs> Fifteen yes, zero no. Okay, thank you. Under Section D, the mayor had three items, um, A, B, and C. Under Section A, we've already approved the $16,280.66 uh, purchase for cameras. Section B of this was a permanent part-time employees in the um, a 4% compensation increase that's received by full-time employees to be funded by all departments. Um, that was approved by county commission and should be approved by this committee as well. All right, we have a motion by Commissioner Beauchamp, second by Commissioner Yeager. And this doesn't affect, but this doesn't affect uh, the budget at all. So. All right, any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, go to the board and vote, please. Fifteen yes, zero no. Motion passes. Okay, and the last thing under the mayor's um, portion, section D, is um, a motion by Commissioner Spallridge and seconded by Commissioner Beauchamp, and passed to refer County Commission. Um, re the mayor requested for permission to release the contract regarding the um, SR one seventy Edgemore Road project back to T dot, and for authority authority to reach out to T dot to restart lighting discussions for reduced areas of lighting coverage, for example, safety areas that signal signalized intersections or crosswalk. Crosswalk. All right. We have a motion by Commissioner Foster, seconded by Commissioner Beauchamp. Commissioner Wandell, you're recognized, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mayor, we had discussions before about TDOT wanting to charge us for the lights on this. Is that still the case? Yes. So. Um, it that was known on the front end, and when the contract came through, the cost was a lot more than I think everyone anticipated. So the engineering alone is um, over 200,000, and then the cost of construction is over 2 million. And then of course there's ongoing uh, maintenance. Um, this body asked that I try to find uh, other funding for that. I was not able to do that, was not able to get um, funding from the state for that particular project. Um, 
I did work with uh, TDOT and then also um, the, uh, city officials on changing the construction uh, timeline for that project in order to accomplish earlier construction for the entire corridor instead of it being split into do two different time phases. So uh, we did get a win there, but they continue to ask for the contract to be executed and without the funding, um, I went to budget committee and asked if we could just turn that contract back in and then start discussions on more limited areas that might be more feasible. But th no, sir, there is no funding available. So, Mr. Chairman, so Mayor, we, are we on the hook f to pay for these costs or? It, no, so we, we never have executed the agreement because we did not uh, authorize the funding. Okay. So we haven't paid for any engineering costs or, or made a commitment for the construction. Hypothetically, if we had paid for those costs, which I'm not in favor of, I believe the state should make sure when they build a brand new road, they should provide safety, including lights. I don't think it should be incumbent on the taxpayers of our county to pay for, for the safety. I think they do that every day when they go shop and spend their money and all those kinds of fun things. But um, I, I, I just, if you could keep us up to speed on that, I, I'm, not, I'm not in favor of us putting the people on the hook for $2 million. Sure, I absolutely, I totally agree. And uh, and I'm not gonna make any promises, but it may be something that, at least in the safety areas, they might pick that up. But the plan as presented was the entire corridor. And um, doing that, they just were not going to fund that entire corridor. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate it, Chairman. Sure. Good doke. Um, we do have a motion and a second. Any more discussion on the motion? All right, since we're not appropriating anything on this one, uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay, and the last thing I have on the budget committee is a consolidation of committees. A motion was made by Commissioner Mays for drafting a resolution to dissolve the purchasing and budgeting committees and for the creation of a Ways and Means Committee, seconded by Commissioner Bochamp. And R Robbie, I'm going to, out of respect for Dr. Smallridge and Commissioner Val, um, bring back a resolution to budget and also take it to operations, um, get everybody a good look at it, and um, so there's nothing for tonight, but nothing to vote on tonight. Okay, that's all I have for budget. All right, moving on to purchasing. Chairman, I have a quick question. If you don't mind. Yes, sir. Thank you. Robbie, I didn't get a chance to ask it before. I support it, but didn't we do vehicles before? Wasn't that one of the first things we did with it, the, with it, the, uh, the funding from uh, ARP? It was for Sheriff and EMS both for so two years. How much was that back then? Wasn't like 1.4 million? It's not. It's all right. We'll just continue it's on. on. That list that, I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, but we, we did do funding once before. We did before. them for two, two consecutive years, yes, sir. Okay, and, and we're doing it again for EMS yeah. and Sheriff. And EMS still hasn't received um, the, the ones they ordered before. They ordered the ones they ordered the first time. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> all it. All of them. I have two left. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Okay, under the purchasing um, committee minutes, under contracts with legal review, there were 10 of those that um, have been approved already under sec under number four. Are we has all, have all the items? They have been. So the new business that was brought up along with the ones that were pending review? Mm -hmm. There are 26 contracts on here that have been, have been approved down to legal review. Yes. Okay. Is there a motion to approve these as a group or Commissioner Yeager, you as have a? a group, sure. As a group, Commissioner Allen with a second. Is there any discussion on the motion? All right, seeing none, go to the board and vote, please. Fifteen yes, zero no. Motion carries. Okay, that's Robert, all I, I have that for <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure. Okay. Thank you, Robbie. 
All right. Uh, Director of Schools, Dr. Tim Parrott. Thank you, Chairman Mays and uh, Commissioners. And uh, I, true, uh, I too agree with uh, Mr. Quinn, everything he said. And the projects took way too long, and it should have been already done, but it's not. But uh, we have a change in our director of capital projects, and I think those things will get done a whole lot faster. The concession stand is out. The contract's not been signed by the problem is they're so small. You only have one company that bids on them, and they kind of hold us over a barrel, and they've not signed the contract yet. So. Once the contract gets signed, uh, I think it's 120 days to completion. That little concession stand is $265,000. <laughs> 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 yes, I, uh, I hope you got a chance to read the report. Uh, just a couple of things that uh, as we're getting close to finalizing the drawings for Claxton Elementary School, we're going to have a community meeting. It's going to be on September the 5th at 5.30 in the uh, cafeteria of the old school. And uh, we're going to have uh, our engineers there and hopefully a lot of community input on that. Uh, we're really excited to get that going. Uh, again, our plan is to break ground uh, in January, and we're still on that plan. Uh, <clears throat> another one is uh, our safety film. All the safety film has been completed on all of our doors and windows in our schools. That was one of a big project we had through uh, ESG. Uh, they are still working on the blue lights. I call it the blue light special, where if there is an intruder, you hit a, a button and the blue lights go off and it sends a, we're still working with uh, E911 on how that communication gets. Is it going to a person or is it going to them? So they're still working out the logistics on that. Uh, another thing, too, is when we started our year, we had a, uh, a day of professional development on uh, the whole child. Uh, we had uh, Kevin Hines come in, and he spoke to all of our uh, employees. Kevin Hines, if you you not heard him, it was pretty amazing. He's one of very few people that jumped off the, uh, Golden, the, the Golden Gate Bridge and lived to tell about it. He, uh, tried to commit suicide and he talks about he spends his life now talking about and it, it the one thing that stuck out with me he said when my hands left the rail I knew I'd messed up everything changed and, and I think sometimes you know uh, our people don't get that second chance and we we do a lot with our students on wellness and with our psychologists with our uh, social workers and everything like that and uh, my thing is uh, we don't want anybody to uh, hurt in silence we want to make sure that they have a place to where they can go somebody they can talk to and some of those things so that is is really one of our pushes this year and every year we have a theme hopefully you'll get to see a t-shirt before long uh, it says make every day count and so that's one of our things is that uh, we'll give you a little lesson here. Uh, ask a question. How long does it take to put on a seat belt? Anybody? 20 years ago, not as long as it does now. <laughs> it, it's about three to five seconds. And a seat belt has saved millions of lives. But the problem is if you don't use a seat belt, if it's just in your car, it's worthless. And to us, what we've done is we've challenged our staff this year to take three to five seconds every day and ask a question, how are you doing? Or say, you did a good job. Or I'm thinking about you, or can I help? Or hey, that was great to do that. So I'm gonna challenge you all to take three to five seconds and do something positive in somebody's life. You'll never know what it means to somebody. So that's kind of what it is. Make every day count. Well, we've got two commissioners wanting to be recognized, so yep. All right. we can get off <laughs> on the good foot here. Uh, Commissioner Wandell, you are recognized, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I don't want to cut in. If you, if you still have... No, uh, no, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Yep. Um, 
I guess I want to go to the softball field, Dr. Parrott, and I know yes. you said you agree. Um, you know, it was a few years ago we, we funded the softball field along with the football field. Softball field was kind of thrown in at the tail end. I think you made the comment that it could be done, and I voted for it. Um, it's been a long time. I know we've had a lot of legal challenges, I guess you could say, but I, I would like to know a couple of things. One, who, who, the person that was managing that project before you said is no longer in place. Yes. And that individual, did did he go to work for the for the company that's providing that work? I have no idea. If he did, I would like for the, the school board to, to, to look into that because I don't think that would be appropriate. Don't think that someone who could be employed should be in managing a project <coughs> should leave the project and then go to work for that very company. I think there's a lot of questionable acts there that I would challenge myself if I was in your shoes. But, and again, I'm not criticizing yep. you. I'm just speaking my mind. I understand. Um, who's managing the project now? Uh, you're looking at him. Okay. Well, then, I want to say this before I forget. This gentleman to my right, I want to thank him from the bottom of my heart. He's done more work out there than a lot of people. Yes. And he, he does it of his own free time, money, labor. And I just want to say to you, Commissioner Isabel, how much I appreciate what you've done. It means a lot. And the community sees it, and we appreciate it. Doesn't so. Mean, yeah. If, if I could, Dr. Parrott, I want to get a commitment from you that whatever it takes, and if I can help, I'd like to. I want to know, can we guarantee that these kids will have the concession stand? And can we, is there other options? Could we have TCAT or, uh, you know, somebody build it for us and put it in? Can we go buy a unit that's already made and put it's, it in? It's, here, here's the thing about it. There, there was a a law passed the way I understand it is and, and like like uh, Mr. Biner says we're still in the lawsuit so there's very there's certain things we can do certain things we can't do uh, we're trying to get that we come out and adjust the lights and we have to go back we've got one more adjustment to do and uh, we're waiting on that to happen right now but uh, we there has to be a commercial building uh, with a commercial license to do that we can't if we could have built it ourselves, we'd already had it done, but we can't do that. They won't allow us to do that. So Who's they? The city of Clinton. Okay. Um. But the other thing is the drawings of uh, uh, Bobby, uh, Bobby Crawford, he's now of our director of maintenance and operations, and he's working with the architect to make sure that the drawings are uh, on our, the locker room and all that stuff. We're working to get it completed right now. How do you, what's your gut tell you? think we'll have this done before? Well, our, the, once the contract is signed, there's 120 days for them to complete that. If they don't, it's a $500 a day uh, fine, I guess that's what they've done. So we're waiting on, we're waiting on them. They, uh, in our purchasing laws, they have, once you give them the contract, the people have 30 days to sign the contract. So we're still waiting, we're in that 30 day window and they've not signed it yet. Um, while, while we're on the subject, I just want to say to Mr. Bender, Mr. Chairman, that he has no way, shape, form failed the kids. No. Uh, he's, he's given just as much blood, sweat, and tears as anybody. So, Absolutely. Mr. Bender, I want to say thank you for what you've done. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll point the finger at myself. I've kind of failed on this. I, w I wish I'd have been more engaged. I, I don't know what else we could have done to expedite it, but I feel like we have failed them girls. And uh, it, it's a... I hope that we can fix it and get it right before. Last thing, Mr. Chairman, I'll shut up, is uh, flu shots. I'm sure you have that. In yes, works. they are scheduled uh, sometime in September. Uh, the last of September, uh, the notices will go out to the parents and everything. Again, they'll be free of charge. And if I can help in any way, I'd like to meet and learn, and uh, I'll put on some boots. I'm not going to be as good as this guy, but I'll do whatever <laughs> I can. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Uh, Commissioner Allen, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. How are we doing? Doing good. Doing good. Um, <laughs> I, I see that um, people are talking about the concessions and budgets and the construction. Do you know what I'm interested in? Yes. The academic performance of the students. Um, I've been asking for quite some time for some performance data that you could show us that would tell us 
um, how the students are progressing academically. I think that's very, very important. I understand like the building is important, the budget, all that is good too. But um, this is a school, and I think we should also look at how the students are doing. Is there anything that I could do? Can I meet with you and talk about some performance data that you could present to us on a regular basis? Um, I, I do see some in the, uh, the middle school, the Norris Middle School, there's some consistency, it's a key. There's some math data there. There's some English, language, art, data, science, and social studies, I guess. And there's a progress there. I can see that the students are growing in that area. Yes. But I just think that, you know, if there was some way, and I don't mind helping you with that, finding some way that you should show some performance data academically for the schools, for the we, students. We, we do have, we're still, uh, we're still waiting on last year's data. It's not all come out from the state yet. Yes, sir. So just as soon as it comes out, you, you'll get it. All of our data is online. You can go to the Tennessee website, Tennessee, uh, and it's the report card and everything there. It's yeah. got all of our data on that. So you just tell me I what you want. If you want to meet with me, I we see. can, I can give you a presentation, whatever you want. I've seen that report card. Um, I have my opinions about that, but anyway, I, I too. yeah. <laughs> but but um, if there was some metric you could bring to the body, you, you like you have this nice big report here, just some metrics that would let us let this body know I'll on a monthly basis. Uh -huh. Because I can go to the website and I can go and you know look around there myself. The, but the problem is going to be is 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 really we don't get that data but once a year uh, the uh, we could bring grade card but 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 the grade card you couldn't tell who the kids are or things like that so I'll get with you and see what you want because I, I want it to be I want it to be something that's useful to the body not just something yeah that, that's what I'm like asking for to something that's useful for the body uh, yeah thank you thank you all right uh, Commissioner Yeager thank you Mr. Chairman uh, elementary school enrollment. Uh, elementary school enrollment. How are the different elementary schools? We are. We we still have. Uh, Bryce was still low. We're at 94 right now, so we we crossed that 100 thresh mark. Uh, but uh, our other school down at uh, Dutch Valley, I think there's almost 130 students in Dutch Valley now. Uh, our enrollment's pretty good. We're at 350. I think we're at 358 on kindergarten right now. I've been in contact with the city codes. I don't know what his name is. I, he, my mind left him. Matt. Matt. Yes. And, and talking about uh, uh, if our schools can hold the growth up on the other end, and we're ready for it. Uh, I know they are uh, starting to pull per pull permits on the new. A housing project and we're ready for that up there uh, Andersonville can hold another uh, teacher per grade uh, our middle school we've already built on to that so we're ready for them the high school can hold it so we're in good shape with that uh, we're looking at building Claxton to hold an extra 150 to 200 students so I think we're we're in good shape on that I, I, I think that uh, we're ready for it so no dis redistricting is needed because you can handle pretty much right, what's coming. Right. Okay, thanks. All right. Uh, Dr. Perry, do you have anything else? Nope. Thank anything you. If you got Dr. any Perry? questions, just give me a call. Y'all have my cell phone number. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Perry. Thank you. All right. Uh, moving on to the Law Director Office report. We don't have any action items tonight, so unless anybody has any questions. All right, is there any? Okay, Commissioner Isbell, sir. Thank you, Mr. Yes, Rachel, I really appreciate the hand up that you gave. That was actually uh, Commissioner Mays. <laughs> Commissioner Mays did that. You, that was great, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> we appreciate that. Um, one thing I did want to do, this is a little <clears throat> off of the agenda, but I was going to open the floor just for a minute if anybody wanted to say anything about about Jay or anything like that. I know we'll recognize him next month with the family, but I'm just going to give the 
you know, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate, but just, you know, if they wanted to say anything, I was just going to give that opportunity to anybody right now, if they'd like. Just, just yes. Uh, from here? That's fine. So you want to ask from the body that would like to say anything? Yeah, I would, Mr. Chair. Um, when I first came on commission, um, I met um, Jay, and um, I've always wanted to know what to call him, law director or um, Mr. Yeager, but I finally settled on, settled on just calling him Jay. That's just what he meant to me. He was um, a good friend of mine. I would go and you know, talk to Jay about concerns on the commission. He would help me understand all the legal things that was happening there. And whenever we talked, we always ended with Jay talking about uh, his family and the office people that he worked with. He always ended that way. Family, office people, and um, his life. And I really did appreciate that about Jay because um, you know, he had that side of him that was staunchly professional, and he had that side of him that was, you know, family-oriented and, and people-loving. Thank you. All right. Okie doke. We will, um, again, recognize Jay next month. Um, we will now move on to Chairman Isbell and the Operations Committee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> We had nine action items actually. Uh, it was a good meeting and appreciate everybody's diligence too. Uh, Commissioner Anderson made a motion to give the mayor the authority to sign the TVA agreement attached with the agenda with an effective date of December 1, 2025. Commissioner Wandell seconded that motion passed unanimously to forward the full commission for approval. All right, we have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? Commissioner Wandell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just wanted to brief everyone that might be watching that this is to close down the Kids Palace Park uh, in December of 2025. Uh, this is an agreement that TVA and Anderson County will enter into uh, to take the park down. TVA will pay for the cost to remove the park. Um, and in that process, I know the mayor is working on it. I'm working on it. Commissioner Chairman Mays, I'm sure, is working with us as well to find a new location for a new park in Claxton and uh, we're hopeful TVA will participate. Thank you. Thank you. All right, see no other discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. 
Any opposed? Motion carries. This is a continuance of what uh, Commissioner Wandell just stated. Commissioner Anderson made a motion that Anderson County maintains a park in Claxton and authorizes the mayor to continue negotiations with TVA on where that will be and how much they will contribute. Second by Commissioner Wandell, motion passed unanimous to forward full commission for approval. All right. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Commissioner Yeager made a motion to approve updated changes to the Anderson County personnel policy, employee handbook, and file as required by law with the Anderson County clerk. Seconded by Commissioner McCamey. Motion passed forward to full commission for approval. All right, we have a motion and a second. Uh, Commissioner Foster and Commissioner Yeager, any discussion on the motion? All right, seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Commissioner Wandell made a motion that the gate TV installed at historic Black Cemetery fall under the Conservation Board, seconded by Commissioner Anderson. Motion passed forward to full commission for approval. All right, we have a motion by Commissioner Wandell, seconded by Commissioner Smallridge. Any discussion on this motion? All right, seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Commissioner Anderson made a motion to authorize the mayor to work on a grant application, possibly with NRDAR, for Lost Bottom Park, seconded by Commissioner McCamey. Motion passed unanimous to forward the full commission for approval. Uh, Commissioner Isbell, was there, was there something similar to with Blockhouse Valley? Would you want to, would you entertain taking it as a group or? Sure. Let's see where that's, yeah, because that's going to be number six. So, Commissioner Wandell made a motion to authorize the mayor to pursue NRDR grant planning for Blockhouse Valley landfill property. Seconded by Commissioner McCamey, motion passed unanimous to forward full commission for approval. Commissioner Barron, are you good with that as a group, sir? Okay. Uh, any discussion on the motion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. <clears throat> Commissioner McCain made a motion to approve the additional county property adjacent to the Glen Alpine Convenience Center at 3065 North Freeway as the EMS training facility project location. Seconded by Commissioner Allen. Motion passed un unanimous for the full commission for approval. All right, we have a motion by Commissioner Allen and a second by Commissioner Varon. Any discussion on the motion? All right, seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Under the Basic Emergency Operations Plan, Commissioner Allen made a motion to approve the Anderson County Basic Emergency Operations Plan, seconded by Commissioner Wandell. Motion passed forward to full commission for approval. Motion by Commissioner Wandell, seconded by Commissioner Smallridge. Any discussion on the motion? All right, seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Under unfinished business, Commissioner Wandell made a motion to approve the corrective version of the temporary use agreement for Yesco Travel to utilize the senior center's parking lot. Seconded by Commissioner Barron. Motion passed forward full commission for approval. All right, we have a, is there a motion? We can make a voice. All right, uh, we have a motion for approval by Commissioner Foster, seconded by Commissioner Second. Uh, one down. Um, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Under announcement, Tennessee County Commission Association were to have their annual meeting at the Appalachian Museum at 5.30 p.m. on October 1st, 2024. I'd like to recognize Commissioner Wandell for making that possible. Yeah, thank you. And Commissioner Anderson. <laughs> That concludes Operations Committee report, Mr. Chairman. All right, thank you, sir. All right, uh, just report only. We've got um, Legal Services Advisory Committee. Um, Mayor Frank, you're the chair, right? I am. Um, what would you like me to just report a, on? I think just a high. I, I know that purchasing and budget kind of hurt a little bit, but just a high level okay. overview. Okay. Um, so the Legal Services Advisory Committee met on August the 8th. Uh, we have another meeting scheduled for August 30th. There were several motions that were made. It was a very good meeting. We met for about two and a half hours, actually, um, working our way through the process. Um, part of that um, was the approval of a motion 
um, to recommend to both purchasing committee and operations committee that the county enter into a special <coughs> council contracted services agreement with Jamie Brooks for the next 90 days. Um, that passed unanimously and also um, was covered at both the budget committee and operations committee. Uh, the purpose there is the private act does not address a vacancy, so this 90 days allows the county to have counsel uh, to work with the staff in the law director's office uh, while the legal services advisory committee sets about setting um, a job description, uh, a process for the selection of a law director, and then also um, part of that is um, other potential changes that may be addressed going forward with the private act. I think there's been a lot of discussion about that, so that'll continue to be discussed at the legal services level. Um, that's that's pretty much it, yeah. uh, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um, we'll have that another meeting on the 30th. The 30th. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Very well. It's at uh, 10, 10 a.m. No, 9 a.m. I can't remember. Usually I think it was 10 because we 10, talked about yes. the, the event. Uh, that's right. Okay. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Do, do we need a motion? Uh, to to uh, to accept the minutes. I well, I mean, do are we do we feel like we're okay with just running it through the purchasing and operations, or do we, does does this body need to make a motion to support uh, the hiring of Judge Brooks as so, interim? Yeah, Robbie actually had that in his because we talked about it, whether or not it was needed, and so we did. Um, we approved it through purchasing committee and I think maybe budget but I know we did it through purchasing and I think the body approved it tonight in a group as a group yeah so I thought I thought uh, mr. chairman I also thought that we did pass a motion at operations committee I thought we did. We did. yeah I mean I, I don't think it's a bad idea to enter the um, minutes or to do a motion to approve that because it does authorize me to act and I was not acting on a couple of the directives here until you all accepted the minutes so okay um, all right we have a motion to approve the minutes of the uh, legal service advisory committee is there we have a second uh, by Commissioner Allen and that motion was made by Commissioner Beauchamp uh, any discussion on the motion all, right. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, moving on to new business. Uh, first, the CDBG water grant extension through 1231-25. Yes, Mr. Chairman, thank you so much. I did distribute this via email. Um, also, as you know, this one has taken a very long time. Um, you know, first with COVID, then um, we've had to work with Hallsdale Powell on adjusting the coverage area. They are going to do some work in some areas. Then um, we have rock cost overruns. Um, hopefully we're about to cross the finish line, but this is the actual engineering contract. So it's the original one. Nothing changes in this other than I'm asking for an extension of the date. All right. So we have a motion by Commissioner Foster, seconded by Commissioner Beauchamp. Is there any discussion on the motion? All right, seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. All right, new business item number two, uh, UT Ag Extension requesting to use the Senior Center parking lot for Tennessee Tree Day. Yes, sir, that, that is exactly the request. So uh, this is not until March, but they would for planning purposes like to know if they can utilize this. So um, I'm gotcha. just asking for authorization for them to be able to utilize the parking lot. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Foster, seconded by Commissioner Beauchamp. Any discussion on the motion? All right, seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, motion carries. Um, is there any announcements before I ask? Commissioner Isbell, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And this goes back to when I was talking about the, the work at the Clinton softball field. But I want to tell you, the people, the the coaches the parents the students very appreciative 
as they are at, at, at Anderson County, at Oak Ridge, to Lake City, Ballfield. They've all been there, and I appreciate all that they do. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. All right. Um, what I would like to do, this is a little, uh, you don't, I apologize that I didn't put this on there. But as you know, Commissioner McCamey is not here tonight. He has a, a pretty big surgery tomorrow uh, for himself. And so what I would like to do um, is if you would, we have a special prayer uh, for Robert, um, considering uh, the surgery he has, some of the health issues he's been battling. But uh, we just pray a special prayer for uh, Robert and his family. And those are, um, he'll be working on him tomorrow. Um, so I'd, I've asked uh, Commissioner Palmer and Commissioner Val uh, to, to lead the prayer. And of course, feel free to, to pray amongst yourselves. But um, I just felt like that, you know, as a body, you know, we're more than just colleagues. We're, you know, we're friends. And, uh, and I know that he, his family needs our prayer. So uh, at this time, I'll go ahead and turn it over to Commissioner Palmer. If you will, just pray with me. Father, we, we acknowledge you as the great physician, and we know that you know Commissioner McCamey, our friend Robert, intimately and very well. And Father, I pray that you would just give him peace tonight, that you would give him rest, that you would give his family that peace that surpasses all understanding. Would you help them in this time of need, in this time of, of fear and the unknown? Father, I pray for his family as they wait. I pray that you would calm their spirit, that you would just give them um, just reassurance that you are in control. I ask that you would help them in the recovery process, that you would give them gentle hands, encouraging words, and that you would give them patience and perseverance as they care for him in their days of recovery. And Father, I also pray that you would uh, make yourself known to them in a very real and tangible way and I pray that you would restore Robert's health and bring him back to us um, restored, healed, and able to continue to serve this county that he loves so well. It is in the son's name that I pray. Amen. salvation above it all we ask forgiveness for the sins that we commit against each and every day we know that there are many we ask you forgive us of each one of them tonight make us worthy tonight to come before you and pray down this prayer for the doctors for the nurses for the staff that are going to be working on our brother tomorrow morning lord we pray that they know you we pray lord that you'll send the holy spirit to calm them Lord, to guide their hands, to guide their heart, to guide their mind. Lord, to give them that knowledge that they need. Lord, to, to repair our brother, to fix our brother to healing. Lord, that he can be back with us. We ask blessings on them tonight. Lord, and we pray, Lord, that we'll get the praise report soon, that he's fine. Lord, that he's able to come back. And Lord, that once again, that you've worked a miracle. All this we ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Pretty proud of you. All right. Um, are there any other announcements before we adjourn? I'd like to throw an idea out here. Yes, sir. I met Jay Yeager years ago when he was an assistant to David Park down on Florida Avenue in Oak Ridge. Known him for a long time. Uh, butted heads with him a time or two. Uh, visited with his house uh, several times. Uh, he'd done a lot of work on a park down in. Uh, off the lower end of Blockhouse Valley. We used to call it the poor farm. Uh, but he, uh, the county was in trouble there for a long time as far as uh, pollution and so forth. Uh, Jay done a lot of work. Uh, I'd like to float an idea that somewhere along the line that we might name that park after Jay Yeager. Uh, just a thought. Uh, it, takes, it takes a lot of work to represent this county. Uh, as Commissioner Wells talked about, you know, 
we look for all, we try to help every district. Uh, I represent District 5, but if number that District 3 or any other body needs my help, I'd be glad to do it. And Jay Yeager was that kind of person. Uh, so sometimes just think about that possibility of uh, naming that park after Jay Yeager. Thank you, Commissioner. And I appreciate these prayers. I've bragged on her praying before. She, pretty prayers. And I love to hear people pray, especially when they pray like they know what they're doing. Thank you. Yes, sir. No other announcements. Uh, we have a motion to adjourn. So All right, so moved. We stand adjourned. Did you, second second Did you say something? Oh, we didn't say good. I already seconded. A little hard. It feels like it. It would save her the most. I seconded right over that. I just feel I said in budget, we used to do that all the time. Not anymore. I know. Denise. <laughs> Hey, she better get quick. She better, yeah. she better get ready to push her button. Yeah.